Hey there, thank you so much for coming to watch today's video. So today is my grocery haul. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to see what I got at my outlet store and also my local Kroger, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's about budget food, but usually healthier food options. So subscribe if that sounds cool. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start with my outlet store. So, um, I, these aren't my favorite, but they're okay. I got them because they weren't expired, and then I also got them because they're the small cans. Um, but it's the Coca-Cola Starlight, and it's the small, um, uh, they're the 7.5 blue ounce can, so it's a 10 pack, and I got them for like $1.50. So ridiculously cheap price for these, and there's sometimes I want a soda, but I've also noticed when I buy like the what is the regular size sodas, Sean? 12 ounce. The 12 ounce sodas. Um, I don't drink water throughout the day. So I think a small can, the seven and a half, um, is totally cool. And for $1.50, it was a great deal. So I went with that. Um, we found these. These are the Naughty Pretzels, and they are the Smoky Cheddar Bacon. And they were $1.09. I'm sorry about the lighting. I have both lights on. I was looking for my ring light. I couldn't find it, so I apologize. But these are, never heard of Naughty Pretzels before, but they sounded interesting for Sean especially, so I got those. I got a bag of Progresso Southwest to Style Tortilla Soup Mix for 79 cents. Um, we have the Minestrone. We had the Minestrone. It's actually really, really good. Um, I liked it a lot, and we made a bag this size last us two meals. So for 79 cents, it was a good de deal. So um, We got a bag of the dark chocolate Milanos. We liked these a lot. We still have a bag in the pantry, but they were $1.59, so great deal. And then today they had the dark chocolate sea salt Milanos. So I grabbed two bags of these. I love sea salt, so grab these. So two bags of these. It would have been really good if they had the mint, but... They did not, and that's okay. I'll I'll pass up on the mint ones when I can get them for a dollar fifty nine. So, okay. Um, also picked up. Just going into a clean sink. Okay. Oh, here's my receipt. So the Starlight. Just wanted to double check my math here. Dollar fifty nine. I do apologize for the soda. So yeah. Okay, so got the da so got some Don Francisco ground Hawaiian something. There's the price tag of three oh nine covering it. I have no idea what kind this is. We'll see. Oh no, Sean. What? It's hazelnut. That's okay. Sean hates hazelnut. Um, he says it tastes like dirt. Yeah, you know, but it, exactly, bad, we've had another Don Francisco cinnamon hazelnut one that we do like. So this might not be bad, but Don Francisco for three oh nine, it's a decent price, and it's he has Don Francisco like I'm talking about him like he, like I know him personally, uh, has a really good coffee. So got that. Um, found two um, Bigelow seasonal teas, and they don't expire until twenty twenty four. One is hot cinnamon, which I love a good cinnamon, and then one is egg noggin. So grab those for $1.09 a piece, really good deal. Then found this um, Lipton, this is uh, Soothe Your Tummy. It's ginger, peppermint, and fennel. So grab this because flu and cold season is coming up quick and so sometimes it's nice to have a tummy soother tea, you know what I mean? And this was $1.09 as well. So all their teas are always $1.09. Then they have these little packs of uh, Ritz crackers and they were 30, 35 cents, I think, or 39 cents. They, oh, 39 cents um, for the little packs of Ritz crackers. You get two little stay fresh rolls. And so I grabbed two of them. That's what I got at our local discount store. And I ended up spending $16.15. So not bad at all. Um, yeah. I think I did a good job with the soup mix and everything like that. Good deal, good deal. Um, okay, I'm gonna show this one item to you and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Because it is past five o'clock, it has been a rough day. Uh, 
uh, we were getting out of the car and Sean uses a walker because of his spine injury. Uh, you know, his spinal cord was getting dug into by a um, disc. He had to get a thoracic fusion. You guys all, you, you know all this. So this uh, very, very nice elderly lady made really rude comments of like, oh, it must be mental illness because when I have Sean with me, we do park in a handicap because he has a permanent handicap placard. So that's how the time started at the grocery store. Yeah, it was great. And then it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So I ended up slicing my thumb open. Um, that was great. Okay, so grabbed a, at, we're starting the Kroger part. Sorry about my little rant. So grabbed a DiGiorno um, Supreme Pizza and that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Yeah. Did you know, if you haven't bought them in a while, all the toppings come out. No. They come in these little bags now without, uh, without uh, cardboard or me. That's how long it has been since we bought frozen pizza. But kind of like what I did last, was it last week? Yeah, it must have been last week uh, with the, uh, sorry, I'm looking for scissors by field. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm doing what I did last week with the, uh, Papa Murphy's take and bake. Anyway, but yeah, that's how long it's been since we have purchased like DiGiorno frozen pizza. Something I have finally got through my thick head. If, you know, instead of ordering out or stopping by to get fast food, it really is cheaper to buy a $7.50 frozen pizza at the grocery store instead of spending $20 on takeout. I don't know why that's so hard. That was so hard for me to understand, but it was. Okay. So yep. So we got a pizza here. I'm gonna go to pop it in the oven because I'm classy that way. I can double task. Got all the peppers and onions came off and into the bag. I think last time we put it in for 12 minutes, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, we're just gonna go like that. Close the thing, it is 519. Sounds good, okay. So sorry about that. Dinner is started. Okay, so we'll continue with the um, little haul. Okay, whoa. So, Sean really likes Dr. Pepper, but the bottles are too hard to open. Sometimes they like, leave marks on his hands because they like super glue those things shut. And then I was buying him the 16 ounce cans from Dollar Tree, but those are $1.25 a piece. So I'm like, you know what? It's just cheaper if we buy a 12 pack. Oh yeah, this is $8. Just FYI, it's eight bucks. So it's still cheaper in the long run, but it hurt my soul. Cause I remember when like 12 packs of soda used to be like two something, three something, if it was expensive. Um, grabbed some baby eczema cream. Um, Sean does have eczema and it was Dove Baby and it's originally $13.49 and it was on sale for $1.99 so grab that. Also grabbed some men's daily multivitamin for $4.99 so that was a good deal. And then we ended up getting five cans of the Campbell's Chunky Soup because they were on sale for $1.29 I believe. Yeah, $1.29. Yeah, the Campbell's Chunky. Yep, $1.29. Um, so he got a loaded baked potato, baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits, and it is, uh, it is slightly dented, but it's okay. And then he got two of the spicy sirloin burger. He loves the sirloin burger one, but it comes in a spicy version now. I love the spicy chicken noodle, so I grabbed that. And then I grabbed... Um, so yeah, I only needed two cans of soup because I already have one in the pantry. And then he got three, I got two because it was only you could only buy up to a, a limit of five. And then I got a chicken and sausage gumbo. So not bad at all. So yeah, to the spicy sirloin. I bet it's going to be amazing. So yeah, uh, they are hardly ever on sale. So when they're on sale, we do like to get as many as we can that they'll let us get. Um, they had an e-coupon 
where like the giant sizes of cereal um, of this brand, uh, General Mills, they're originally six fifty, and there was an e-coupon that would bring them down to two dollars and forty nine cents. Which yeah, the G GM Cinnamon Toast Crunch, um, two forty nine. So that's a great deal. I don't hardly ever buy name brand cereal unless it's like Dollar Tree or whatever. But when it is on sale, I will buy it. Um, we got um, I got some. Ranch dressing that is all dented, but it was a 99 cents. It's the Sriracha. It's my favorite kind. I ended up getting four peach yogurts because I had an e-coupon. And then Sean ended up getting um, 10 um, Yoplait cherry ones because they were actually cheaper with an e-coupon than the store brand. Yeah. So we actually got them 10 for 5. So did that for him. Um... Another, another deal that they had, um, they had Prego sauce for $1.49, and the very nice young man, he put all of them in the same bag, but we got a roasted garlic and herb, we got a roasted garlic and parmesan, a flavored with meat, it was a limit of five, so that's what we got, three cheese, and a fresh mushroom. We kind of discovered that we do prefer uh, Prego over other brands. I mean, of course, Classico, but Classico is expensive and all that. So we, yeah, Ragu, we were not a big fan of. So um, we got a half gallon of chocolate. And then uh, the last things that we did get, because we are at the end. Yes, we are at the end. Uh, we got a bag of Lay's cheddar and sour cream potato chips. And a thing of hamburger buns because we do have like sausage in the freezer that we can do hot dogs with. So that is what we got today. So I feel like we got quite a bit of stuff and with all the e-coupons and everything, um, it was originally, so we saved $22.50 is what we saved. So we ended up only spending $60.04. So not a bad deal actually. I mean, we got a lot of stuff that was with the e-coupon and then because it's the case lot sale um, this time of year, we were able to get the soups. Um, there was an e-coupon for that, but the Pregos, because the case lot sale uh, was the $1.49. So I feel like we did really good this week. Uh, we got um, some food stuff like the Prego sauce and the soups and stuff like that. Uh, th but then we also got stuff to put back into the pantry, like the cookies and all that kind of stuff. So I don't feel bad at all for what we got to th this week, and I don't feel bad for how much we spent. So anyway, there we go. I hope you did enjoy my ranty, ranty grocery haul. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that jazz. Let me know down below in the comments, when do your local stores do their case lot sales, or is it just a Utah thing? Because I don't know. So let me know down below. And of course, uh, you're welcome to follow me on my other social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and it is at Budget Land Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.